nobody wants you there's a reason why you can't find a woman in your own country and you have to go somewhere else to try to bribe women to bring them back as your own sex because let's not talk about the fact that you're not wanted there they don't want your broke there they they don't and your children that you're gonna have are not gonna be accepted by the people there because they are will be half black they will not be the standard but i know you don't care because all you really care about is getting your age girl hi guys hope you're having a good day we have a new batch of incels here and wow they are getting crazier and angrier in all seriousness though, American women, black women get triggered by these passport bros wanting to leave. You can actually make a commission off of them leaving. This is why you see me recommending apartments, dropping tips, and y'all in the comments like, don't give them no tips. Why not? Matter of fact, reach out to me. You can make a commission for referring clients over to realtors in these other countries. Let me know if you wanna know more. As quiet as it's kept, living in the Dominican Republic, you see nothing but black realtors, nothing but black women realtors. They are it. killing it in the Dominican Republic. Why these passport bros travel it abroad and do whatever, y'all are actually coming outside of the country and killing it. This is like an unkept secret that y'all really need to know. Like, it's crazy. Oh, really? You think? The reason why they are worried is because men are turning their attention somewhere else. First of all, the Dominican Republic is pretty diverse and there are people of almost all races. Yes, they are black women realtors, but they are Dominican not American. And in order for black women in America to make a commission out of it, they have to be in good terms with the bros, and that is not the case, because the bros are leaving. And, how stupid do you think men are? Men are running from you, and yet you expect them to tell you where they are going and allow you to make money out of it. Stop capping and take the L. So apparently there's this new fad, and I keep seeing it about it in lives, um, that, let me change these glasses, got a little yellow tint going on here, alright, let's see, oh, there they are, sorry, I got like a million pairs of glasses, okay, <laughs> where these men are, I don't know if they're calling them passport men or passport wives or something, I don't know, but apparently they're going to other countries to find women because they say American women are too modernized and too feminist and we just we just want to be alone and single <laughs> we don't want to be a traditional traditional wife um bye go go ahead and when they get here and they see that you treat them like shit <laughs> expect all the shit from them but you have no emotional exchange or you expect them to be submissive and they realize that they don't necessarily have to be that way that that your emotional intelligence is zero they're probably gonna leave your ass too but I mean hey go ahead with your bad self I was referring to the women you bring back when they when they leave you we're gonna make room for them in the blanket fort too whoa this woman is crazy and for the record they are not planning on bringing those women back to the u.s this woman didn't hit the wall she literally crashed into the wall and her brain spilled out of her head through her ears passport bros will never not be pathetic to me because they really think that this a passport that you can buy for 160 dollars is a form of currency well i don't know what you are talking about toots but in case you don't know nobody uses their passport to buy a plane ticket they don't use their passport as currency they use it as legal documentation to travel out of their country of origin and allows them to just take advantage of any woman around the world accusations false accusations Need I remind you, you are not wanted by any woman anywhere. That's why you have to go to countries that are underprivileged and have low consent laws to try to take their women and take advantage of them. Really? Seriously? You need to update your shaming tactics. This is getting old. Go ahead. How about naming those countries that have loose consent laws? And as always, the disrespect. These women must be thinking that outside of the US people live in caves and hunt mammoths. 
because let's not be obtuse you're not there to find a wife or a partner you're there to find a nanny a cook and a maid do you know what does a nanny a cook and a maid have in common you need to pay them for them to do their job so it means that the bros got some money and i can see that watching them spend that money on foreign women isn't sitting well with you you don't look at these women as actual human breathing people you look at them as commodities for you to buy so does corporate america and any corporation on the face of the earth so what's your point modern women have no problem being a commodity to a boss but the moment a man wants his woman to be his commodity within the boundaries of a relationship now it is a problem talk about slave mentality but let's be certain you cannot pay their bridal price you cannot pay for their sponsorship to go to your country well you really don't get it if one had to leave his country to find a woman don't you think bringing the woman back to his country will defeat the purpose of him going out of his country to find a woman bringing the woman back to his country will put the woman in close proximity with the women he has decided not to deal with and that's because in his country the culture is rotten you knew that already don't you sure you cannot pay to help sponsor their family you can't pay for any of that you are broke how can one be broke if he can afford a passport a plane ticket a nanny a cook and a maid the passport bros have pissed this woman so much that she can't even make sense of her own thoughts cuz all of you guys showing this passport i have not seen on a f plane and the fact that you constantly have black women's names in your mouth saying we're gonna go we're gonna go we're gonna go no one wants and yet here you are talking about them nobody wants you there's a reason why you can't find a woman in your own country and you have to go somewhere else to try to bribe women to bring them back as your own sex because let's not talk about the fact that you're not wanted there they don't want your broke there they they don't and your children that you're going to have are not going to be accepted by the people there because they are will be half black they will not be the standard but i know you don't care because all you really care about is getting your age girl wow she is spitting venom homegirl is pissed and to add on to an argument that oh well white men have been doing this for ages <laughs> you want to be a white man is that what you're telling me you put your own moral standards and what you want to follow against white men and you think because they can do it i can do it and if i can't do it that's me grow the f up like grow some fucking balls go to therapy figure it out wow i think this woman should take her own advice how can anyone get this worked up on something that doesn't even concern her come on mind your own business live your life and let those men leave theirs unless she's recognizing that the way they are living their lives is indirectly affecting her because she actually needs men in order for her to have a good life but since she is a strong and independent woman who need no man all she can do is shame insult and guilt men i'm only asking this question because i have experienced dealing with these type of people and so when these when the men would leave our camp to go and recruit other men they would promise them that they would be able to join our camp and they would be able to get submissive women. So what I want to know is, what do you bring to those women that you're going to get in these other countries? What do they bring to those women? At the top of my head, I will say a meaningful relationship that goes beyond sex and all the perks that come with dating a man smart enough not to deal with westernized women but that's just my opinion because in my experience the american men who came over to our camp in israel they like it was oh my god you know we got some new men you know some new american men and within a month to 3 months all of that hoopla about you being a new guy and, and, and having all of these accolades is gone because your money is gone. And now you walking around a village looking crazy because you came into the camp like, oh, I got this. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But two, three months down the line. You walking around talking about how you need somebody to help. You need a sister to fix you some dinner. You need a sister to do this. You need a sister. So what I'm saying is, what is it that you're bringing to
to those women in those countries? Are you even planning on contribute, contributing in any type of way? Because every time I see these videos with the passport bros, they're constantly talking about how they will benefit. And in my opinion, because I am black, I am, you see me. Yes, we do see you and your blue contact lenses. Pick one. You either get glasses or contact lenses. Now, here's the question. Why do these women care? Live your life. If those men go broke, how does it affect you? Is it that you really want your turn to hold the whip so bad that you're willing to do whatever it takes just so you can get a chance? I didn't get a chance to get a lick in. You want to be the master so bad. You want to be master so bad that you want to go to these countries and you want to put these women through the most ridiculous things because you're saying well i'm looking for a submissive woman and i expect for you to be submissive shut up sit down and listen and you know the laws are different for black people in other countries especially in israel you're not going to get that that much of a punishment for your wife so is this why you're going to these other countries so that you do not have to deal with the repercussions of your actions when it comes to against women? You can't make this shit up, people. You really can't make this shit up. Even if you try, you can't. It takes another level of stupidity to come up with what she just said. This woman is really uneducated about the matter. No man is going to Israel because Israel is a feminist-ish hole. That being said. Look at how all those women have problems with submitting to a man. More precisely, submitting to a husband. If I have to take care of a woman and be responsible for her well-being, submission is the least I can expect. Women in those countries understand that for a relationship to flourish, the man must be a leader and the woman must submit to his leadership. Which is something that these bitter passed around women don't understand. And that's why they are passed around women. Men use them only for recreational use because they can't submit. <sighs> that will be all for this video good people. Thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe out there, and catch you on the next one. Peace.